This situation's gotten out of control. It's time to contain it once and for all. Protect the bots! Integration circuits to maximum burn! Scramble protocol! Alright! It's now or never! System initializer. Time to wake up. Cognizant integration complete. Defensor. Online! Ladies and gentlemen, this is Internet Personality Evangelist, and it's time for the miniature motorcycle man who said, Size don't matter, and mine's too big. Groove is the last of the Protectobots, and the fifth of the five Legacy members. He is also a Legends toy in Combiner Wars, finally bringing his alt mode at least slightly closer to a realistic scale when set next to his comrades. But if you think about it too hard, setting this guy up next to a reasonably sized Combiner Wars car just makes you realize he's still a little too big. Oh well. At a glance, the effect of a smaller motorcycle amongst larger vehicles works well enough. Unfortunately, Groove's really wide seat makes it hard to use him with smaller figures of various kinds as riders, so I've not yet figured out who can happily sit atop him. Setting that aside, though, he's got a very cool alt mode, taking the G1 original and stretching it out a little aerodynamically. The colors are all there, as is the Black Star Autobot logo on the rear end. There are even a pair of speedometers molded on, though sadly not picked out with any paint. He's also got a 5mm peg on one side, and a peg hole on the other, if you want to give him some weapons, or a sidecar, or what have you. He doesn't come with anything, though. But does he really need anything? Groove's got a sweet and simple transformation, definitely hitting many of the hallmarks of a Legends price point conversion. Unfortunately, his big shortcoming is the fact that neither of his shoulder blocks actually fasten onto his center mass, just wedging in and hoping that various frictions will keep them in place. Spoiler alert, they sometimes don't. Elephant in the room, those legs are hell of long. They kind of sort of work in a kangaroo-ish athletic track and field manner of things, but I'd have been happy to see the feet retract up into the shins a little bit. Anyway, Groove has got a pretty cool new design in 2015 with a spinal wheel and central chest windshield. I really like how his speedometers and handlebars relocated to his collar, and the color layout is decently laid out, though I could have done with some more hue variants on his crotch and forearms. His head sculpt is a pointy-nosed visor deal with silver, black, and gold paint crammed onto his tiny cranium with a simple but respectable cleanliness. Though he doesn't come with any accessories, Groove's hands are 5mm compatible, so arm him up with whatever you got! I promise you, Groove actually has a neck joint. If I if I fulcrum my, the forces in here just right, I can get him to tilt his head in, in a direction about that far. That's about as far as he can look uh, to his right, or left. And then we'll see if I can get him to, to look to, to his left. Our right. It's real stiff. Anyway, uh, it's useless, aside from the, the barest of glances to one side. Uh, the ball-jointed shoulders, however, are not useless. They're quite wonderful. with a real free range of motion that only occasionally smacks into those handlebars. Also, if you pull on them, uh, you might do that. Because uh, this thing doesn't really lock in. It sort of frictions on there. And it's pretty easy to accidentally do that if you are new to the toy or just a little bit too strong. Uh, he's got ball-jointed elbows, which afford a bicep swivel and a little bit of an inward tilt if you want to get a, a kind of curvature to his arm going on. Uh, there is no waist joint, uh, there is a bit of a, an ab crunch using the transformation joint, and you can get him to go about this far before you start you know, bumping into the windshield and untransforming it or potentially popping it off. Uh, he's got ball jointed hips and a dedicated mushroom peg thigh swivel, which is real cool, uh, along with a single hinge knee and a transformation joint that lets you tilt his foot a little bit. All this stuff is wonderful because of the insane length of his of his, his legs, and the, the problem is that if you start using this ankle tilt, 
you might not realize that this also compresses his foot into the leg a little bit uh, due to the way the transformation works. So if you have him standing here and you're like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tilt his, his ankle in a little bit so it's like he's walking forward, his leg also just starts to shrink from the knee down. So be aware of that and you can still do some fairly amazing stuff with this guy. Uh, I'm not sure if my copy just has like a real paint stuck head or something, um, but the head can move, and if the head could move just a little bit more freely, uh, this this dude would be real top tier. As it is, he's fine. He, he's pretty darn posable. He's he's able to look like he can like, just, you know, ride or kick you real hard. Maybe not while looking at you, but he'll still ride or kick you super hard. Uh, it's just a shame that he can't more easily look left and right uh, while he's doing so. Oh! Groove may no longer be a limb, but he's still a part of Defensor. Much like Blackjack, Groove can become a chest plate to turn the Protectobot Combiner into a six-bot Gestalt. He connects on there pretty securely and totally looks like he's sticking out a little too far. Except in person, something about this design blends together and kind of works. The white Black Star plates sort of jaggedly slope towards the vague tip that's formed by the wheel and windshield. If this isn't working for you, don't fret. There are a bajillion fan modes for just attaching Groove to Rook as a leg. I've never tried any of them myself, but man, have I seen pictures! Legends Groove isn't quite as cool a package as Blackjack, but he's certainly still up there as a well-done motorcycle transformer at that smaller price point. It's easy to pass on him up front, as Defensor looks fine and dandy without him, but I feel he brings a neat modernizing aspect to the Combiner, especially in tandem with Rook. And he adds a lot to group shots, mixing in some fun variety with his size. On his own, he's also got good modes, good posability, and a quick fun transformation. I just wish those feet slid up a little bit at the end. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Evangelist, that's been Combiner Wars Groove, that's been the Combiner Wars Protectobots. We're about halfway through the line, Titan's Return is on the horizon. Guess I still got a pile of Dash R repaint reviews to make, don't I?